What are you looking at? You looking at drawings? <laughs> All right, turn it down, baby. We're cooking and we're taping. You got to down. What are you doing? What <laughs> All right, YouTube. Welcome to another episode of Real Men Get It Done. Uh, cooking with Dad edition. I am teaching my teenager how to cook so that she can be... Um, self-reliant and help us out around the house so we aren't always doing it uh, so we are preparing a meal today it should be a quick prep meal um, only taking us about 30 40 minutes to prepare uh, we're gonna break down everything that we're doing ahead of time and then we're gonna time-lapse this thing just to show you the process uh, but in short we are making um, Italian chicken thighs so we have a chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs with Italian seasoning. We're gonna do Brussels sprouts that are gonna be covered in turkey bacon um, and a little bit of oil. Uh, just brings out the flavor, really uh, tasteful. And it's just mixing it up a little bit in terms of our side dish. We always have stuff like corn and potatoes and what else, broccoli, but it just mixes it up to have a little different variety. And then I think for a bonus clip, my daughter is gonna make her famous cookies as well because she does pretty good in the kitchen making her cookies. Okay, so let's break down everything that we're gonna kind of need for this meal prep today. So first and foremost, with the chicken thighs, um, we have really come to learn, not, not learn, we've come to love chicken thighs. I'm not sure how we stumbled upon it one day, but boneless, skinless. So very similar to chicken breasts, and we used to always get chicken breasts or chicken tenders, but it dries out a lot. Chicken thighs are dark meat, and so it does not dry out. And to get them boneless, it's almost just like having a chicken breast or, or a chicken tender, but it remains juicy. So even if you kind of mess up on a recipe and maybe cook your chicken too long, it won't dry out like a chicken breast or a tenderloin will. So chicken thighs, boneless, skinless are, are, are awesome and amazing. So what we're gonna do is just um, shake these up in a bag um, and coat them in Italian seasoning. It's a very simple and, br and brings out a real just tasteful and flavorful um, a chicken dish. So these are just the same ones that you use for salad dressing. It's a great coating for chicken. And we're going to put that in the oven uh, for about 20 minutes. 20 to 25 minutes at 400 degrees. So if you aren't very comfortable with cooking in the oven and doing time, always shoot low, but continue to check your meat throughout and use a thermometer. The thermometer, I believe at 165. Do we have our thermometer, Ruth? Uh, I just know from cooking, I believe at 165 degrees, chicken is done. So you can check it throughout the time that you're cooking it just to make sure everything is going well. So that'll be the chicken. Very simple, go 20 minutes after we prep it and put it in the microwave. Here are the Brussels sprouts. And again, if you don't like Brussels sprouts, choose whatever veggie that you like, but I would encourage you to try it because they are really flavorful. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the tips of these off because this is bitter right here, this tip right here and cut them in halves. And what we're gonna do is do our turkey bacon and a little bit of olive oil and butter, and then just combine it on the top of the stove. It's gonna soften these up, bring the flavor out and just have a nice simple kind of green dish. Um, and we don't have any kind of grain or bread that's going to be our dessert, our cookies, I guess, that my daughter is going to have and her bonus footage. Uh, but that's just following the, the directions verbatim on the back. But she's pretty good with that and knocks them out pretty good. So we are going to use all of our utensils in front of us. Uh, again, our cutting board. We're going to flatten the chicken a little bit. We have our pans for the Brussels sprouts, for the bacon, our dish that we're going to put the chicken in, our cookie dish, um, measuring spoons. This is all we need. Quite simple, not sure what my wife's coffee thingy is in the picture, but anyway, <laughs> quite simple uh, a set of tools that we need and actual food that we'll prepare. And this is a quick meal um, that she'll learn to do so that if she wants to cook it by herself, or as I said, she gets older and just to have another meal under her belt. But um, that will be our, our cooking demo for today, Italian chicken with Brussels sprouts.
Okay, Nayla is doing an amazing job. And of course, I'm helping her. Um, but she has all of her chicken um, flattened out. Uh, uh, and then she also has it seasoned and she's lining the pan right now to be able to put it in the oven. Uh, so we line the pan gently with olive oil. So we love cooking with olive oil. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit healthier than usually just conventional oil. But again, just some uh, extra virgin olive oil. So coat the pan with that so it prevents it from sticking um, as we put it into the oven. And then here, uh, as you said, we have our Brussels sprouts all fresh cut with all the, um, I guess, buds off of them because that just leaves a very bitter taste in your mouth. So you don't want to cook with those. Those are cut off. Um, the Brussels sprouts have been washed and drained. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to gently put the Brussels sprouts here in some oil and just kind of let them uh, continue to cook till they get brown. Right here, we have our turkey bacon sizzling. And we're going to wait and let this all get cooked. And then we're going to cut the turkey bacon and then put a little bit of olive oil and butter just so that all those flavors of the bacon infuse into the actual uh, Brussels sprouts and just cook them uh, till they're done. You know, if you like them a little bit crunchy, you don't cook them as long. If you want them to be softer, you'll just cook it longer. Um, but we're using a little bit of the butter and the olive oil to try to bring out some more of the flavor of the turkey bacon because turkey bacon does not have as much flavor as regular bacon. Uh, but we're trying to uh, be a little bit more healthier and not use bacon. Uh, so this is our alternative to help boost and add the flavor. And the only other thing that we'll add is probably just a little bit of salt, pepper, um, maybe a little bit of garlic salt or garlic powder. So you can really season it to taste to make it as flavorful as you want or as bland as you want, depending on your palate. Uh, but we are doing extremely well. And as I said, this is a very quick meal uh, that Nayla has learned to cook so that in the future, she can do it definitely on her own without any assistance from dad. Cool beans.